Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel once again. So a few people asked me to do 8.2 guides. So I'm going to try this and see how it works out. Hopefully you people like it. I'm going to take it path by path. Also go through the bosses and who to use and what the notes are. And hopefully this helps you in your uh, way to do it. I just did 8.2 uh, 1, 100%. I did 8.22, 100%. I'm almost done with 8. Two, three. Also, I'm, if this is popular, I'm gonna do it for all the different chapters. Who to use for all the paths? Who I used? Also, tell you about what the difficult fight was, and also who to use on the bosses. Which boss is the easiest, and uh, where to go? So let's start on the far left, the Cyclops path. I'm just gonna call him the path with the first fight because that's the easiest one. <laughs> And um, it has a few notes here. At the end of the, it has fighting dirty. At the end of the defender's special attack, they gain an unblockable passive lasting for six seconds. This does not trigger when the defender is suffering from shock effect. And then you do each time a tech defender inflicts a power drain, burn, or lock on the defender, they inflict a shock passive. And then defender finishes special attack, they gain a debuff immunity. And then it has shock and vulnerability. So you could go two different routes on this path. You could basically use uh, shock attackers like uh, Doom, I Doom, um, Black Widow, Deadly Origins, uh, everyone, um, Warlock, Hulkbuster, all the champions that does shock you can actually you can use here and you can gain a benefit. Uh, Nimrod. What I did, I mainly used Hercules, just hurt all the fights. You don't have to do anything. Um, you could also use Ghost or Nimrod. Um, I used Nimrod for a few fights. Uh, remember to bring a counter for the, the Havoc. I used um, Warlock for that fight. Um, <clears throat> otherwise, fairly easy, straightforward path. Just be aware of the unblockable at the end of the special. So when you pay the special, either punish the special or stay away if you have a hard time intercepting. Um, not a bad path at all. Um, and should be uh, fairly doable. When we come to the... Um, I'm going to go through the bosses in the end. And when we come to um, this path, it has science attackers reduce the potency of the defender's poison effect by 85%. And it has Contagion, and Counter-Strike, and Cold Turkey. So what you want to do here is you want to bring a science champ that is poison immune. That's by far the easiest. You could also play around with the science... Um, champs that are not poison immune but it's a lot easier because if they're poison immune you just hit, hit into the block and then you get a bonus so hit into the block that triggers the poison when you trigger the poison and you're immune you get a fury so you deal more damage you have to be aware of the counter strike if you use the dexterity too much at 10 furies they go unblockable so remember to uh, look at the at the counter in the top how many furies you have when you get to around eight or nine uh, just be aware of that they go unblockable for a long period of time. I used Scorpion and Red Hulk. That was the two I wanted to do from the get-go. But I actually brought OG Hulk and he smashed this path. He was a lot better than Red Hulk. He just did a lot of damage when you got the Furies up. Uh, he was a really fun champ. My, my OG Hulk is 6 star rank 3 unduped. Worked like a charm. He just smashed the path altogether by himself. Then we have the Warlock path, and the Warlock path is a weapon path. You have to disarm by doing a heavy, and um, you do more damage if they um, if you do parries. Remember, you have to do a re-parry because the first parry get nullified. So remember to look at that. Um, also, if you have buffs, you do more damage. So what I did, I just brought um, Hercules, put on the Odin pre-buffs, and then I just went to war. Also, Hulkling, really insane for this one because he gets a lot of buff. Uh, Angela, other cosmic champions, Medusa, whatever, that gets buffs, really good for this one. But um, otherwise, uh, bring a cosmic or another champ, put on the Odin pre fights, go to town. Remember to do the heavy to knock them down to get the cooldown, and then you're good to go. It's not a hard path at all. It's actually one of the easiest, uh, in my opinion. So, um, so it's a really good one. Then we come to the um, A-bomb path, and the A-bomb path, um, uh, you need to remember to use uh, villains. 
when you use villains, when you get a fury buffs, you will purify your debuffs and you will do more damage. Um, and then you have to be careful getting a lot of debuffs on you. If you get a lot of debuffs on you, then they're going to go unblockable. So basically use villains. Any villain can be useful. Um, I ended up using Scorpion and Nimrod the most. Um, but basically any villain is good for this path. Um, I use Scorpion a lot for this path. He was really good. But uh, any villain and just be aware of the, of the interaction of you getting debuffs. You have to get them away from you. Um, I will say this fight is pretty annoying. He's unblockable basically the entire fight. So be aware of that. I, uh, it took me a while to get him down. Um, I just used Scorpion for him, but it's a long fight and he's unblockable the entire fight. So it might not look like a hard fight, but it's pretty annoying. Um, probably the hardest path um, in this chapter, the eye bomb path, in my opinion. Then we have the Aegon path, as we call it. And this one is super easy. Uh, CTR is insane in this path. He just clears it basically all by himself. Um, but also I use Claire a little, but you could in theory just use any champ. Um, uh, it's a power shield node, so remember you only do damage on your specials. But I think basically one special two just kills them with CDR. So he was he was a beast for me in this one. Then we have the last path, the Venom Pool path. Um, and you have to remember that you have to get them up against the wall and knock them down. Then you can uh, get off the weapon. So push them back and then knock them down with a special or a heavy when they're against the wall. And then you disarm them. And when they're disarmed, you can do a lot more damage if they're stunned. I use CGR mainly for this one. Push them up against the wall, unarm them. One special two, GG on the if they're stunned. But you can use any champ. Just remember to push them up against the wall, knock them down while they're knocked down. You do a lot more damage if they're stunned. So like knock them down, stun them again, use a special. You do ch big chunks of damage, fairly easy path all the way down. Um, I used CTR, Claire, um, and uh, Hercules. But you could use anyone in, in theory. Just remember to do the disarm thing. Then when it comes to the three bosses, I personally think Vision is the easiest. Um, I did him four times and the other two a single time. Um, the tunnel vision is a little annoying. You could use Magneto. That's what I did. He doesn't care about the tunnel vision. Actually, if you use willpower, then triggering the tunnel vision will actually get you to heal. And he ignores the bypass. So all you have to do is remember to bait the special one and the special two. Do one big special three and then he dies. So it's a fairly easy boss with Magneto. If you don't use Magneto then remember to think about the tunnel vision because that's going to be applied every time you use the same attacker or the same attack. So it's going to be a, a falter on you. Um, yes. Claire here, you can use several uh, champions. Um, um, I tried using Hercules. No, no, I, I, I used um, AA and AA just uh, demolished her. I have heard a lot of people using um, Hercules or use Human Torch. Uh, for me, AA was a pretty easy fight. You just parry heavy, parry heavy, parry heavy, bait special ones, evade special ones, parry heavy, parry heavy, and then she dies. Also a fairly easy boss. Um, but you could use anyone. It's not a hard one. Um, all you have to do is, um, is remember not to use a lot of uh, buffs with the nullify and the outburst. And, um... Yeah, and then watch out for her power with the return policy. But it's it's not a hard fight at all. Black Panther uh, is a little special because he has fight or flight and the shank. So if you strike the block, you can uh, have a bleed. I ended up using um, Claire for this fight and just throw a lot of special twos, especially in the bleed phase. If you either you can, I have suicide, so I just did the full circle around where I got to the poison immunity and got to the incinerate. And then back to the bleed and just kept spamming special twos. Work like a charm. Um, just remember with the whiplashes and um, and with the shank, with the you have to have someone that either shakes off the buffs or keep using specials if you don't have Claire. Um, but it's it's not a hard fight, especially because both his specials are so easy to bait out. 
just be aware of the fight or flight if you don't use a nullifier. Uh, that can be pretty annoying as well. Um, but just keep your distance if it's close to coming up. And um, overall, it's not a bad boss at all. So I hope you uh, like this uh, walkthrough. And uh, if you did, leave a comment about it. I'm going to do 822 also briefly. So let me know what you think about these breakdowns. Let me know if there's anything else I need to specifically talk about so you guys could be prepared. And other than that, I just hope to see you back on the channel again in the future.